Hey, hey, welcome back, my friends, to some more Ark Survival Ascended. In the last episode, of course, we wound up taming this beautiful specimen, the Argentavis, coming in at a whopping level 202. That really is a fantastic start for a newly tamed creature. So, as I mentioned in the last episode, the other creature I'd like to try and tame alongside this Argentavis here is an ankylosaur. Now those guys are fantastic at getting metal and metal is going to be something we are needing in pretty much industrial amounts from hence here forth because what I want to try and make is a long neck rifle requiring 95 metal ingots or 190 metal in total. So yeah, we're gonna need to get a lot of metal. So believe it or not, my friends, we're already pretty close to being able to get this thing going straight away. We need only get ourselves a few more bits of fiber. Then we can make ourselves an Anki saddle. I'm hoping that the 47 trank arrows I've got on me right now will be enough. And then, uh, yeah, we're going for an ankylosaur. The, probably the easiest way to do it would be to maybe head on over to Herbivore Island, which, of course, we explored a couple of episodes ago. So, if you guys are excited for today's upcoming episode, I'd really appreciate it, of course, if you'd continue dropping a big fat like beneath the video. It really does mean the world to me, my friends, and it massively helps out myself, the channel, and the video. Of course, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. And if you want to go one further with your support, of course, all through November, you can get 10% off any of my Apex gaming PCs using code Python. So then, here we are, my friends. 140 fiber, 260 hide, and 10 metal ingots. I see it more as an investment. We're spending 10 of our metal ingots to gain the ability to get a whole ridiculous ton of metal. So then, my friends, I think we're just about ready, but there's a couple of things I quickly want to mention and address just before we do this thing. Number one, for some reason, there's an immense amount of lag with the animation of me opening this door here. Like, it's all smooth in between and then, oh dear, oh me. Presumably that's a bug that's been introduced recently because I don't remember that being in the game at launch. The second thing I wanted to address is the lacking of ability to level up any flying mount's movement speed. That is a bug because I checked between episodes and I do indeed have the setting enabled whereby I'm supposed to be able to level up the movement speed of my flying mounts, my Tyranodon and my Argentavis here. Yeah, look, I just can't upgrade their movement speed, which is unfortunate. So yeah, that's definitely another bug. But I guess for now, we can get along with having default movement speed on our flyers. I mean, at the end of the day, any of you guys who play on the official ARC servers, you're not able to do that anyway. So think of this as more an authentic experience for you folks who play on the official servers. <laughs> so then, ladies and gentlemen, we are taking flight with our newly tamed Argentavis here. We have a few levels that we got between episodes and look at the amount of health you get per level. So let's round that to 2400. We get about 130 units of health per level up, which is quite significant, I must say. What about if we were to increase the carry weight? 670 up to 709. That's about 35 units per upgrade. So then, we're heading to Herbivore Island. But here's the thing, my friends. I think it would also be a good idea to kill two birds with one stone. If I was to level this guy up incredibly so by getting myself a bunch of explorer notes, then I'm going to be able to upgrade a lot of things. We can give this guy many, many more thousands of health units. We can give him more stamina and weight and melee damage. So here we go, my friends. The beginnings of this mountain structure. I'm hoping that if I was to follow this along, I might just find myself an explorer note or two. No way! There's an ankylosaur right there. It's only level 75, though. All right, very good. So here we go, my friends. We've got ourselves our first explorer note of the episode. I'm hoping to find multiple to really level up. Oh, look at this. We've got one of these here. Uh, I think they're called glitches. Are they glitches? I don't know what they're called, but here we are. I can't be so Whoa. Sure this of Trippy. <laughs> Holy crappers. But here's the thing. That's not the end of this structure. Not by any means, ladies and gentlemen. I dare say there might be one or two more explorer notes even still. What there is, is a level 95 Anki. 
Very good, but again, I feel like we could do better. I gotta say, random side note, this could actually be an excellent base location. The only reason I can think of why you might not want to set up a base around here is the possibility of gigas spawning in gigantosaurs. It's not something you want to be coming across. I mean, I'm pretty sure that those guys can destroy even stone structures, which, you know, they're supposed to be quite sturdy, aren't they? For them to be able to do that is pretty scary. So then, check it out, my friends. We've got 17 levels up with our Argentavis here. Look at the amount of health we are able to now have. That is actually kind of ridiculous. I'm thinking we go for a nice round 1,000 carry weight. I mean, in terms of stamina, I think we're looking pretty good already. Just over 1,000 units of stamina? That's pretty good. Alrighty, yet another explorer note with this tiny little structure. Excellent. <laughs> Alright, how many more levels up we've got? Six. So... There's the 1,000 carry way. Oh, gee whiz. Okay, no, we're getting buggied to death. How about no? Yet another explorer note coming up here, my friends. This would be number four. Wow. I really do mean business when I say I want to level this Argentavis up incredibly so. What have we got now? Nine levels up. We can now get ourselves up to 5,000 health, which I think is a pretty good goal to go for. So check it out, my friends. We are pretty much right next to the green brood mother obelisk. And I thought I'd stop here just to have another edition of Python gushes at just how beautiful this game is. Look at it. It's so lush green. I love it so much. Like, seriously, man, come on. i got to say, I'm really rather enjoying this area next to the green obelisk. It's just like a big old meadows area, isn't it? Yeah, the southeast shores. Do we have time to do a quick loot and grab? Let's have a look, shall we? So we grab... Whoa. We grab all of that stuff and then we roll on out. That was from a green loot beam. What did we actually just get there? We got a journeyman galley saddle. We have ourselves a Mastercraft Terror Bird Saddle Blueprint. Look at that! We have an upgraded Anki saddle already! Wow! <laughs> More than double the armor value of the regular Anki saddle. That's fantastic! Do you know what? Honestly, I'm tempted to just not pass up any loot crates at this point. If even the green loot crate can give you loot of this quality? Damn, man! And just to let you guys know as well, I have not messed around with the loot quality setting in this series. It is default. That is just brilliant. <laughs> so we've got another loot crate, but it's only the lowest tier loot crate. But it's a ringed one. I'm genuinely interested to see what kind of loot we get in this. We've got to be very quick about that, actually. This is about to disappear. Holy crappers. So, what do we actually get? We got ourselves an apprentice parasaur saddle coming in at a 62 armor value. That's not too bad. And then basically just a whole bunch of generic stuff. That's not bad, I guess. And here we go, my friends. Yet another explorer note. Absolutely fantastic. So, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. Herbivore Island is just over here. We're going to fly on over here and see what we have in the way of ankylosaurs. So, we've got a level 5. I think there's another one back here. Level 35. A level 145 Stegosaurus. Damn! If I wasn't going for an Anki, oh man, I'd go for that. Hell yeah. Level 95 Ankylosaur. Okay, we're getting closer. Is it just me as well? Or are there more of these tiny little micro islands dotted around the island? I'm not complaining though. Like, this seems like a perfect little base building opportunity right here. Yeah, we've got Herbivore Island over there. But then we can have this tiny little island all to ourselves. That could be such a cool idea. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Or if you guys have any other ideas for locations we could set up a slightly more permanent base, then again, let me know in the comments area. Ah, check this out. We've got ourselves a female baby triceratops at level 47. You guys were saying that when it's got a strange level, it's because it's got a random stat mutation. And I gotta be honest, 
I totally forgot about that side of Ark Survival Evolved and Ark Survival Ascended. So, yeah, usually when you get a mutation or a stat mutation, it will add two levels to your creature. And yeah, given the level that that female baby Triceratops was, 47, so that will be 45 and then add two because of the random stat mutation, that all checks out. It makes sense. Got a nice, beautiful purple loot beam up here, ladies and gentlemen. Or what? Oh, what do we have in here? Ascendant Megatherium Saddle. That is huge. We get ourselves an army of Megatheriums with this standard of saddle? We'll be able to take down the Broodmother with absolute ease. Like, it's not even going to be a freaking contest. The thing is, look at the resource requirements. <laughs> 2200 cementing paste, 1200 metal. The hide and the fiber are relatively straightforward to get, although the hide, that's a lot. 7200? And check this out as well. A ramshackle baryonyx saddle coming in at a 42 armor value. That's not too bad, my friends. I am definitely wanting to get a baryonyx in the coming episode, so yeah. Pretty chuffed about that. Oh, yes. Level 115. That's not bad. The only thing is we can't immobilize this guy. So I think what we'll do... Wait, do they have mob mentality? Look, like if I was to hit one of them, will they all start getting mad at me? I don't know. Kind of tempted to go at it with my pike, actually, because the pike does a fairly good amount of damage. Check this out. 77. Yeah. Although... Oh, okay. This guy's just going for him. Yeah, go on. Multi-team this guy. I'm gonna take you down, son. Come on, come on, come on, come on, and he's done. <laughs> All right, let's have this guy on passive. And yeah, ladies and gents, I think we're just about ready to give this thing a bit of a go. Level 115, bada bing, bada boom. Come on then, son, you want to try it? <laughs> oh, you ain't even going to get a chance, son. Your turning circle is stupidly large. And you're also very, very slow. So yeah, I can literally just kite this guy. Not even a slight contest here, my friends. Just accept it. Go on, go down. Have yourself a nice little snooze, okay? Oh wait, no, he's actually coming back. Okay. Proper debating me into thinking that he was about to go down. That's a scumbag tactic if ever I saw one. <laughs> there we go. Nice and easy. Ankylosaurs have got to be one of the easiest tames in the entire game. So there we go. Major berries we had on our hot bar already. So there we go. Now we just played a waiting game, folks. In the meantime, we've got some other bits and bobs that we could probably get done here. I'm thinking, sod it. Let's just make this guy into a pack mule. We've got 1260 carry weight now, which is beautiful. So even when I use my Anki to get a whole bunch of metal from this very island, we'll be able to carry him back. And we'll be totally fine. Check this out as well, my friends. We ourselves have six levels up. I've just pumped my carry weight up to 400, which is beautiful. And to be honest, I'm actually tempted to go even beyond that. So there we have it. We now have 764 points available. And we are now level 78. There's the Quetz saddle. Beautiful. There's the Vault. There's the Rex saddle. Oh, 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 the Rex saddle. I can't wait to get my first Rex in this series. That is going to be fantastic. Anyways, we have some slightly more pressing matters. We need some food. We should probably have some drink as well. I'm so bad at remembering to eat and drink in this game. But we got there in the finish, right? I just had some food. I just had some drink. We're all good. Don't even fret about it. Okay, so I'm just here casually looking through my spyglass at all the creatures that are around here. It turns out we have a level 145 Megalodon slash shark circling Herbivore Island. That's not scary at all now, is it? <laughs> so there we go, my friends. Our Anki is now tamed. Fantastic. Level 172. What have we got going on here? 5,300 health, 610 stamina, 440 carry weight, and 292% melee damage. We'll put a little bit of saddle action on this guy. So let's grab our Argentavis. We can pick up our Ankylosaur, and we're pretty much going to get ourselves over to the rich metal rocks that we found 
in a previous episode. We're going to get ourselves a bunch of metal and it's going to be a lovely time. So we'll dump this guy down here for a second. We'll get ourselves off and we will... Oh, this guy's already going for the rocks. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Look at that. 241 already. Damn. Another load of metal to be had here. Absolutely fan-freaking-tastic. What the hell? Something just did nearly 300 damage to that poor little parasaur right there. Oops. <laughs> so then, here's the best thing about the Ankylosaur and the sole reason why you should tame one. They massively, massively reduce the weight of metal. So, we're going to get rid of the stone and we're going to make it so this guy is only carrying metal. And at this point, I think what we're going to do is only pump this guy's weight. So there we are. So, if we were to put the 300 metal on us, look at it. It weighs 300 units. That is insane. You put it on the Anki, it only weighs 45. It's incredible. I love that weight reduction. So here we go. More metal to be had right there. And the best thing is the weight reduction passes over to the Argentabus as well. So we don't have to worry about this guy becoming encumbered via the Ankylosaur. So our weight currently is 163. With the Ankylosaur on us, it's only 320. Which is why I have always considered the Argentavis and the Ankylosaur in Ark to be the absolute metal collecting dream team. Oh dear. Uh, we may have just made a critical mistake. I think I've accidentally hit that Bronto and he's a little bit annoyed with me. Uh, right. Uh, okay, okay. Grab him and run. Grab and run. Uh. <laughs> Don't come after me! This guy is enormous! <laughs> oh my word! So then, ladies and gentlemen, an adventure is all well and good, but of course, we've got to get ourselves home. So, it's time to do exactly that, my friends. I'd like to see just how many bits of metal I've actually managed to gather here today, though, because I feel like I've got literally thousands. Let me just confirm that. What have we got? 300, 600. This would be 1,200, 15, 18. We have nearly 2,000 bits of metal. That, my friends, will keep us going for a jolly long time. <laughs> Loot beams on the way back? Sure. I mean, if they present themselves to me, I'm going to see what they've got. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, the spark powder is probably the most useful thing out of all of that. Too bad, I guess. My word, I feel like I'm on a freaking alien planet or something. <laughs> it's like radioactive neon green. Wow. You know what? There's a mountain coming up and I've still got quite a lot of spare carry weight. You put two and two together. I think you guys know what I'm about to do. All right, looks like we've got a short amount of time to get ourselves some metal here. Oh, gee whiz. Do you know what? I don't, I don't fancy getting on the wrong side of no hyenadon, so I'm just going to bop them out of the way a little bit. All right. Gathering a bunch of crystal. Wasn't actually intending on doing that, but uh, it'll probably be quite useful in the future, right? Ah, annoyingly, the crystal weight is not reduced on an Anki, which is kind of sad, but I know of a different creature that does reduce it. If I was to pop on over to my Argentavis, check this out. 100 units weighs 100, right? You put it on the Argentavis, it halves it. So there you go. Problem solved. We need only transfer all of the crystal to the Argentavis. So yeah, we got a massively heavy load now, my friends. 953. We've got 600 crystal and however many thousands of metal on our Anki. <laughs> So we're finally back at base, my friends. Absolutely fantastic. All we have to do now is transport all of the metal from our Anki. <laughs> Might be easier said than done, considering the relatively low amount of carry rate we ourselves have compared to the Anki. But, you know, we're still going to do our best, okay? <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, after organizing my inventory, it turns out I can actually transport full stacks here. Look at the amount of metal we have in here. If I was to take out everything, we have a grand total of 3,022 bits of metal in here. That's enough for 1,500 metal ingots. Need I say any more? 
my friends, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, and of course you're excited to see more, do be sure to head down beneath the video and let me know with a big old like rating. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, there we have it. The Argentavis and the Ankylosaur, the ultimate metal collecting dream team. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for all of your lovely support. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.